Hi guys, um, Simon here, and um, I'm just about to go on a road trip, but uh, I thought why not do a video about the uh, minor harmonic just before I leave, so here we go. Um, I'm going to be talking about the fixed finger um, closed position system as well, and how they're connected. Now, let's, let's start with the, um, the major scale. Um, imagine that the, the song you want to play is in C, right? Now, this is C major to start with. That's C major. Now, if you wanted to play um, C uh, minor harmonic, what you do is you take the third here, and you drop it to here, and then you take the sixth, and you drop it to there. Okay. So then, you, then it would sound like this. Right. So that it would sound like that, but. If you think about it, dropping the third, uh, flattening the third, flattening the sixth, it's, it sounds complicated. But instead, think of it like this. That's the root there. That's another root. They're two, the same notes. Think of it like this. There's a line there and a line there that you can play down. Um, and then in between, there are four gaps. And I like to look at it like a mouth. It looks like a, the mouth of a, of a wolf. <laughs> if you can imagine an old wolf, you imagine this. Um, it's got two teeth at the bottom here and two teeth at the top, like that. So the, the sides are like that, with four um, gaps. Two teeth at the bottom, and a tooth there, and a tooth there. And that's, that's... I'm wondering, I'm ho hoping you can see that. See that like that. Um, that. That's the minor harmonic scale for the first finger. Now remember also that to, to play this in, uh, instead of set playing in C, um, uh, C minor harmonic, you could change it to D minor harmonic, just like that. You just move it down. It, it, or F sharp minor harmonic, you just do that. Um, so, so to change the key, it's actually really simple. You just move the scale to wherever you want it. Um, if you want to go higher than this, you in, in the uh, with the major scale, you'd start on the fourth finger here, and you'd do another pattern all the way up. Um, but I find the pattern, um, the next pattern is is the second finger. I find that actually easier to play because of this stretch. If you stretch from here to there, it's actually quite a stretch that one. So what I'm going to do is, is show you now the second finger, how to, to play the second finger, and the first finger will be on top of that. It'll, the first finger will come up here. And the reason for that is that, remember again from the first video, if this is a C, then that's a C as well. And if that's the end, the C, then that's a C as well. And so, in fact, this whole scale that I've just showed you transitions up to there. Um, and it's the same pattern. So it's the first there. So basically, if you learn the first pattern in the first finger, um, and uh, with the C there, and then remember that C is, is two frets down, it's a diagonal jump. Um, and you can play the same pattern the way up. Then all you need to know, learn is the next pattern, which is the second finger pattern, which is just here. Um, now, it's, it's not exactly six, um, fixed finger because there is a slide. You have to have a slide here, but I'll show you that now. So with the second finger, what you do is you play, um, the, you, you put your second finger on here. And remember, um, we're working in these lines, trying, trying to keep to the lines. In, in, in that way, you kind of, uh, it stabilizes your hand. And what, uh, um, again, from the first video, what you're trying to do is to get your fingers to, to remember things. So it, it's, it's muscle memory in your fingers rather than um, kind of um, thinking in your head. You have to think in your head to start with to get the patterns, but then you want to do lots of um, uh, exercises over and over again to, um, uh, to get this um, really firm. I mean, for the first finger, for example, one exercise you could do is that. Right. And just keep going, going up, and then you do the opposite, coming back back down. There's another one that, that's the um, one, uh, three, five, seven. Um, that would be that, that. would be like that. Right. 
So that's the first finger, and then you do the second finger after that. Right, and the third finger. And, and you, you do the same thing over, each time you jump um, one fret and then and jump again to get to the fifth, jump again to get the seventh and then the first and come back. Um, and you do, do that all the way up. Um, uh, if you check the, the first video, you can see them. one to four, for example, and then two to five, and then three to six, and then four to seven. You, you can work up like that. These different patterns, and they're, they're basically trying to get your uh, fingers to think automatically. And you'll be surprised, after, if you do the, these exercises, you'll be surprised how quickly your fingers actually jump to exactly the right place. Uh, without, you don't even have to think about it. Um, so that's the first uh, finger. Now, the second finger, as I said, you, you keep it, try and keep it in this line. All these notes are in the scale, except for this last one. This last one's not in the scale, but these first three are in the scale. And so that sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then um, uh, that would be one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And remember that one is the one finger. I just started the one finger going up. So the first finger, uh, second finger again is that. Right. So uh, again, um, if you look at it like a pattern, um, it, it actually helps. Uh, rather, The numbers actually help as well. But think of it like this. It goes one, two, three, like that. And then it's the same, same pattern. It has a big jump and a little jump. And the next string up is a big jump and a little jump. And the next string up is the same again, a big, ju a big jump and a little jump, except for adding this to it. So you can think of it big little, a big little like that, big little, big little, um, and added that. Um, or you can also think of it as the, um, uh, that's the second finger, and that's the first finger. And the first thing with the um, the mouth of the uh, the the old wolf. So um, like that. Now um, the with the second finger, you can do the same patterns of of jumping. And you you, you do that straight all the way up. Um, that that helps, um, and then also in the um, a lot of tunes. If you hear um, tunes that are in harmonic, there are uh, quite a lot of Ethiopian, some Romanian music has 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 a lot of it. So if you listen to some of those, what you'll notice is they have modes as well as uh, just like the major key has modes, um, and the the minor, the natural minor is actually just a mode uh, on the sixth. Um, so if you play major and minor um, keys, you, you call them, the, the, the minors are actually just, uh, just another mode. But uh, in the um, harmonic uh, scale, you have modes as well. So you can actually have um, uh, scales that, that, that start like that. And that is this, that's a mode there, and that's that's kind of hanging around on this um, string here. So this is the fifth. Um, again, from the first video, you'll, you'll know that this is if you go in that direction, you're going in the fifth direction. This is a fifth, and so that you could, I suppose, you could call that mixolydian uh, harmonic minor, something like that. But um, you, you you can see as well that um, when you start playing the melodies and and, sh and staying around a certain uh, note it does have a very very different um, uh, sound the scale has a very different sound and it's just like playing minors and majors but anyway um that's that's uh, pretty much it for the scales so it's just the first finger there second finger and first finger again there's there is the fourth finger and the third finger as well but um those you try try those out yourself uh, figure those out yourself um here's uh now i'm going to do the uh chords that go with it um so we'll do it on the second finger a chord here would be like this that would be uh because the second um the the, the first in the um c minor harmonic is minor obviously so that's the first uh, chord second chord would be that Third chord would be that. Um, and remember, these are all based on the notes that we've, we've already played. So one, two, three would be like that. 
and it's that chord because this is the um, the root and then going from there up to the fourth here is a minor and then going remember you, you uh, onto the fifth here the fifth is a major here uh, six is another major which is kind of strange but You, you can also do double stops. Now, double stops are not really a chord because it's only two uh, strings. But what you do is you take the melody note and then you add, um, I, uh, well, you can add a fifth to it, which a fifth is in that direction each, each time. Um, and, uh, or you can, uh, but also remember here, for example, I'm adding a fifth, that, that, that's all right. Adding it here. Would I add a fifth? I can't do the fifth that way because it's not a, um, this, this note isn't in the scale. This note is. So the next note would be like that, to add a fifth. Okay. Um, the next note would come up here to the, um, uh, the, the seventh. So um, uh, th that would be its fifth, you know, and you, you keep going up like that with the fifth. But I, I actually like the thirds. Um, it, to add thirds, you you can't add any on the um, um, you can't add any thirds that come down. Put it that way, on the first string. What you do is here's the fourth here, look, um, and so you'd add a third here. Uh, next one would be like that. Next one would be like that. Um, next one is like that. And next one. And next one. And you keep going up like that. Keep going up all the way. Um, the, the, you can see how the, the thirds are made up anyway. Uh, and there are, there are actually thirds where you, um, you can come down this way, in that direction. But um, I'll leave that for next time. Cheers. Bye.